hottest tickets in town, whether you're talking about the opera, the ballet, or jazz. But these days, there's something new taking center stage at the Performing Arts Mecca. That's right, folks are flocking to Lincoln Center to sink their teeth into the culinary creations at Tatiana Restaurant, the new hotspot which opened in November elevates Afro-Caribbean dishes to a whole new level. The menu is the brainchild of young chef Kwame Onwachi. And this morning we're joined by the woman that makes sure it all gets executed to the highest standards, yes. Chef Kamat Newman. So good morning, Chef. Thank you for good coming morning. in this morning. Thank you for having me. Wow. Four months since Tatiana has opened yes. its doors and already it is just amazing, amazing reception there, right? Absolutely. And this is uh, over at Lincoln Center. So how does it feel to be so well received on a daily basis? If I'm being honest, it's overwhelming. Yeah. Uh, in the best of ways you get this highlight and this moment to put something that is normal and like culturally just on a day-to-day -day basis something that people like myself and Chef Kwame see on this platform and we're able to give it to the world yeah. essentially yeah. so it's kind of amazing yeah. but to step into the culinary world that is usually a male dominated field what is that like for you as a woman especially a woman of color I, I can't say that it's been the easiest mm. but you know what I've had a lot of people advocate for me and that includes people of all different races creeds and colors um, and I want to make sure that I don't take away from the good experience that I have by focusing on the negative or the moments that may have not been so easy mm -hmm. uh, I definitely see myself as uh, someone that perseveres through the challenges and it got me to where I am today That's amazing awesome. let's talk about some of the food at Tatiana right yes. because it's really covering a swath of the African diaspora and it's from oxtails to okra and so yes. on and so forth so let's walk us through what you brought in today because it looks delicious <laughs> there you go. So today we have a gooseberry piri piri salad. Um, if you don't know, piri piri is a pepper, and we have just incorporated that pepper into this very uh, luscious sauce that you mm. see. The salad includes some seasonal grapes, uh, pickled radishes, some uh, fresh gooseberries, avocado, my favorite component, nice. and marinated cucumbers. Oh, Sounds delicious. That's very refreshing too. Yes. And this next dish has my favorite. The truffle, <laughs> the truffle chopped cheese. Honestly, it's my favorite too. It was well, a, a chopped cheese sandwich. Oh. That's his favorite of all time. Oh yeah. Gosh. Funny enough, my first time having a chopped cheese was when we did the uh, recipe and development for this okay. dish. So I had not had one. Oh my and gosh. And that moment, which mm -hmm. was back in September, I fell in love. Of course. I became obsessed. And you elevated it. <laughs> yes. One hundred percent. So ours is comprised of uh, dry aged ribeye, mm -hmm. a little taleggio, some smoked mozzarella. We top it with uh, shredded lettuce, some pickled red onions, mm. and seasonal truffles. And we serve it with our house sauce. We can liken it to a secret sauce. If oh, you will. Really? Yeah. Now, how would <laughs> I eat that? Sauce. You will literally just take a piece of the sandwich. Oh, I see. Okay. And uh, some like to dip, but yeah. others like to take a spoon and just coat, completely coat delicate. the sandwich I love it. with exactly. It's very love cute. It. I love it. By the way, before we get to the next thing, your food, what kind of story are you aiming to tell with the menu? So I think that we can say, uh, Tatiana's a love letter to New York from yeah. Chef Kwame, giving a highlight to his uh, experiences growing up in the Bronx, and also just, it's like a woven tapestry, mm. I would yeah. say, of all of these beautiful cultures that are influenced on our menu. You'll see things uh, like our Italian uh, Rainbow cookie panna cotta to our braised That's... oxtail. Yes, so oh. it's it's a wide array of things. We have a takeout mushroom that is uh, peaking glaze. So it's giving an homage to those cultural influences that yeah. you see literally everywhere in New York City. Which makes the chopped cheese make so much more right. sense. Exactly. Then, right? You had me a tricolored cookie panna cotta. <laughs> <laughs> you have to come and dine mm. and move on down the line. We have. We you have the curry goat patties. Oh, delicious. This is definitely one of those passion projects for the team. They spend a lot of time making the dough from scratch with really good butter and just really overall great ingredients. The ox, I'm sorry, the goat, goat. is uh, cooked for about two hours, mm -hmm. mixed with green seasoning, which is a traditional Trinidadian seasoning. And we serve it with our mango chutney and green seasoning aioli. Yeah, New Yorkers are used to seeing chicken patties. I know. Patties. Yeah. So when we get guests in, they're like, you know, I've never tried goat. This is my first time having it. I've never wanted to try it. And you guys have made me a believer. Wow. So I'm a huge fan of this, wow. giving people this new experience. I've for never sure. had goat. Should I have Transforming it? people's palates. 100%. You're going to have to try it. I'll have to try it. Should I try it now? <laughs> um, and what do we have here? We have our braised oxtail. This looks beautiful. 
It's Thank one of the you. signature dishes. It is one of our signature dishes. Um, I would definitely say I am personally connected to this, being that you can find uh, southern influence a lot of the time when you cook oxtail. This is more of a Jamaican mm. rendition of it, but I still feel very attached to it in that I can remember growing up and wishing that I could like see oxtail be put on a platform and Aww. be refined. Yeah. And now Chef Kwame has given it and us that platform. It's amazing. This is all like a dream yes. come true for yeah. you then, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. I'm living a dream. Ah. <laughs> right. If you've never had oxtail, try it out. It's amazing. Uh, what do you want people to feel, think when they walk out of a restaurant? Like when restaurant? people come to Tatiana, I want them to feel at home. Yeah. Uh, I would definitely say that our environment and the energy that we foster there is one of uh, inclusivity and just to welcome everyone in New York. Just as our menu showcases all of these cultural influences, we want people to feel like they are themselves in that space. Yeah. Yeah. What I love about this whole thing and having you here, mm -hmm. it's so fitting on a National Women's History Month yes. because I feel like you are making your mark mm -hmm. on history too with what you're doing here. Thank you. How do you feel though knowing that you're probably inspiring a lot of kids that say I've never seen someone that looks like me having control of something as beautiful and amazing yeah. like this? I feel honored and, and very humbled by the experience. I have a few siblings under me. I'm the second Aww, oldest of five. Nice. And I, you know, wake up every day and just think about just, you know, my influence on them and that they can follow the things that they believe in and their dreams. Going out on a whim and becoming a chef wasn't the most uh, ideal for my yeah. parents. But seeing what it can turn into and being creative and being free in that way, I hope that a lot of young black women also take inspiration yeah. from that as well. Amazing, amazing story. You're amazing. Thank I gotta you. check out Tatiana. <laughs> Chef, appreciate you coming in there today. Thank you so much Absolutely. for bringing us a taste of Tatiana's. We will <laughs> be making a reservation, which is very tough to get. Oh, you should. All right. Uh, up next